in here. Now, she's wearing a Halloween costume. You know, this is great. I had no idea. She called. She said, I'm going to sneak in. Nobody's going to see me. She came in early today. She's been hiding in this dressing room. So I give you more. I have no idea what this costume is. I'm sure it'll be great. Please welcome Cindy Crawford. <laughs> Oh, yes, Harry Winston. Oh, Talk very to me. nice, very nice. Talk to me, Harry Winston. Are you trick or treating tonight? Are you going to? I am, I'm trick or treating you. Really? Uh, why don't we do this? <laughs> and I have, to, I have, I brought actually some toilet paper to pee pee. Oh, you're going to do death. this? Then? You want to be sure? Go ahead. If you don't have a good trick for me, I mean, a good treat. Oh, I'll have a treat for you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you had a nice treat in my in my dressing room. <laughs> What's your favorite treat? Like when you were a kid, what was your favorite treat? Did you have one? Well, I had a couple. I had um, popcorn balls. Popcorn that my mother balls made all the time. Would you go nuts for those? <laughs> yeah. So I when you were a kid. Well, that's what my mother gave out. I think because yeah. they were cheap. Actually, yeah. sorry, yeah. mom, but I think that's why. But popcorn balls are really what else? Yeah, um, I like um, whoppers. <laughs> Isn't that what they're called? I'm they're, sorry. We seem to seem to have changed subjects. They're malted, <laughs> they're malted milk balls. Oh, malted milk balls. They're yes. called okay. And also um, chocolate-covered raisins. Oh, chocolate-covered raisins, little, yeah. Any little. I like all Halloween candy. Yeah, well, see, actually, I do have some treats for you, see? You do? See, see look, see? <laughs> see, I got you. I called your mom, Jennifer. Oh, my God. Your mom and I talk all the time. I know. See? They're friends. Yeah, that's right. That's right, see? And, and the little... Uh, Malted thingies, oh, very, great. Good. Well, very good. Great. You're supposed to put them in here, and I guess I'll. I'll, I'll just put them in your uh, in your little bag, little girl. Yeah. I get into this Halloween thing. <laughs> you know, you know I, I spoke to your mom today. She sent me some pictures, actually. You spoke to her? Yes, I did. I speak to your mom all the time. Your mom makes me laugh. She's very funny. <laughs> she makes me laugh. She sent me these animal crackers. I remember last time I was on. She said the animal crackers. I ate the animal crackers, and then she said to me, you know, I had everybody in the bank touch them before I sent them to I you. I know, because so. they were, they were. I know. I remember that. So, like some bad DNA thing happened in my body. <laughs> well, now, this is a picture your mom sent us. What's this first one? How old are you? Here? Where oh are you there? God. I'm, oh, my God. Yeah. That was Halloween when I was, I, I hope know, so. in about third grade. <laughs> <laughs> That's us going to church no, on a typical Sunday. <laughs> That's the Midwest Halloween. I was actually, my, my mother is so into holidays. Yeah, so she yeah. would make these huge paper mache heads, as you can see. Oh, those are great. Whatever. And um, we, we went as the whole Peanuts gang. And I was Charlie Brown. I was the Charlie Brown one. And my sister was... Uh, the piano playing. Oh, oh um, Schroeder. Linus. Linus or Schroeder? Schroeder. Schroeder, Schroeder yeah. Piano. Who's the second one? The lipstick. You know, the lipstick is great. Let me see. You know, that really works. You know, this really works. It's like a whole thing about, that they kept saying back there, the hair and makeup. They're like, you have to keep your eyes like at half mass. Well, you know, now you know why I have this desk here. All right, let's see what the next picture is. <laughs> what is the next photo? Oh, my God. Oh, there you go. Now, where, is that you with the, with the blonde hair? No. That is me and with the, the super nurse costume. Are you the nurse? Or whatever the heck I'm wearing. Actually, it looks like in between a princess. I think it's a princess. That's me in the red on the right. Oh, okay. Now, how old are you there? You look like you're About 21. <laughs> do you do Marilyn's voice as well? You know what? I talked to a voice coach today, yeah. but he was like, oh, thing, you have to be really, like, excited and surprised. And You know, you could make a lot of money doing this. <laughs> I do. I do bachelor parties. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the what the modeling thing pays, but this is so much more money in doing this, really. I gotta get the voice done a little more. Did you ever sense. dress in disguise? Do you ever do that to sort of? I haven't really done. I've done it for photo shoots before. And okay. actually, one of the pictures you the showed. The Herb Ritz thing was great. Where I was, was the a guy. guy. The funny thing was, is we got ready before Herb got there, as usual. Herb never gets there yeah. when you're when you're getting ready. And so I'm sitting like hanging out, like with the beard and everything. And I'd been in the outfit so long, I kind of forgot that I was in this man's outfit. And so Herb walks in and he walks right past me. I'm like, hi, Herb. And he thinks I'm like someone's assistant or someone. He's like, hi, who are you? Who is that person? Like, I <laughs> wasn't even going to talk to him. <laughs> I'm like, Herb, it's me. And then, you know, so even he was shocked by the well, hair and makeup. Which did you ever walk on the street like that? Just go out and... No. But tonight, no. I think I'm going to go out to dinner like this. Oh, that's great. I, I would do it. If it is Halloween, I can get away with it. Actually, there was a funny story in your book that made me laugh about the, about the lady at the makeup counter. Yeah. 
There is. There's a comic in the book. Um, we were trying to t make the point that, you know, sometimes salespeople are salespeople before before they're before they're actually giving you good advice about makeup. And I recently was at a makeup counter, and I just come from the gym, so I was like wet hair, no right. makeup, and this woman like like basically like this much hair and makeup goes to me. You know, honey, you'd be real cute if you wore a little makeup. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Did she have, like, the whole display case on her face? On her face. Like, every single product. She'd go, well, this one I'm wearing right here, and this one I'm wearing right here. And, in fact, I was only there to buy cleanser. And I, was, I said, oh, really? Well, maybe I'll come in for a consultation sometime, <laughs> you know? But the point in the book that we were trying to make is remember that those women are trying to sell you products. Right. Not so necessarily. Sell you more than you need. Look at their makeup. Effect. Now, when you do a book signing or something like this, is, is it all? There must be a lot of guys that show up and go... Yeah, yeah, I'm into makeup. I've been so fascinated with how many young guys, like 12-year-olds, are interested in makeup. And they come up, you know, you know, at book signings, the way to get your autograph is they have to, they buy the book, right? Right, right. And if you have extra time, you do extra photo, I mean, yeah. signings. But, um, so all these little 12-year-olds are there, and they come up and they get the picture. You stand and you're like, you're like, hi, nice to see you. You're signing your name and you do, okay, stand here, we'll do the picture. Smile. And they walk away, they totally forget the book. Oh, yeah. I'm like, don't forget your book. I hey, know you really want it. Billy, don't forget your makeup right. book. It's so cute. They're, they're adorable. Now, any tips for me in here I should know? Well, I what actually think? think men shouldn't wear makeup. However, I think most women are happy if they trim their nose hairs. Nose hair? And ear yeah. hairs. You, you, know, when you I look quite trimmed, and actually. Someone's clapping. Do you have a bad nose hair experience? When I started, they keep trying to get me to dye my hair, but that's my color. I think your hair looks fabulous. Really? It's thick. It's very... It's, like, it's nice. Thick? It's very... It's a sign oh of... Oh, my God. Yeah. Wait, I'm going to get in trouble. Um, no, I, I just think it, it looks good. Well, you look great. You know, it, it, that is so nice of you to do this. I, I had no idea, and everybody here, you snuck in, nobody saw you. Because usually, you. usually I know every secret on I the know. show. I know, your staff, well, actually, your staff was very, um, you know, cooperative, and they also didn't know until today. Yeah, well, it, it just works great. I, I had other ideas, too. We actually had a contest on the Internet. Yeah. I have a website for the book, and we had people on eDrive, like, they could send in ideas, and all the ideas involved me being naked. Huh, isn't that odd? Like Lady Godiva. Oh, I didn't want to tell you my idea. Anyway, okay, the book is Cindy Crawford's uh, Basic Face. It's a funny, funny story in here. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. Great Be right back with Super Dave right after Thanks. this. Cindy Crawford.